Hello everyone. I've had some questions about people having some issues with the uh, custom physics object in my VR Swords pack. So I just want to show you something new that I added to make it much easier to get objects like shields working properly with the system as well. Now if you open the new version of the project and you go to Demo and Maps, there's a new map called Map Setup Offsets. If you double click that, it will open up this map. And you'll see we have the custom physics object placed right in the center there. Now most of the time the issues are caused by the uh, location of the pivot point of the custom meshes that you are using. Um, so I made a quick little shield mesh just to show you. And it's over here. Let's open that up. And if you have a look at that, whoops, you can see that the pivot point is not located on the handle where we want to grab the object. You can click on show pivot at the top here. And that'll show you where the pivot is actually located. And as you can see, it's located right in the center of our mesh. And ideally, we want the pivot point to be located right on the handle of the object where we want to grab it. So let me show you the issue that some people are experiencing. If you click on our custom physics object, and with our shield selected in the content browser, we can go to custom mesh and assign the shield to our custom mesh. Now, firstly, the orientation is all wrong. But we can fix that with these controls. If we click show hand reference, we can make some adjustments to our object. Cool. So that's not too bad. Let's just click play quickly and jump into VR. Cool. If we grab the object, you can see it's held pretty well. But now the issue is uh, because this object isn't symmetrical uh, to both sides as we hold it like this. If we grab it with the other hand, you can see it's all messed up now. It doesn't line up nicely and doesn't work well. So to fix that, I added some new settings to the object. So let's click in the object. You can see there's now a left hand reference checkbox that you can check as well. And that'll show you what the left hand position will look like. And as you can see, it's totally wrong at the moment. And I've added these extra checkboxes that'll allow you to easily fix this. But the main problem now is uh, these checkboxes will simply rotate the object to match the other hand. And if our pivot point is not located on our handle of the object, um, that'll cause some issues as you can see. Let's click through these. And now you can see the rotate Y option is almost working, but because the pivot point is not located on our handle, that is causing some issues. So if your pivot point was located nicely on your handle, clicking one of these boxes should fix the issue with the left hand orientation. So let's disable that again. Disable that. Uh, let's reset the custom mesh to our mug. And then also let's reset all these offsets that we changed so that the mug works for the hand again. And now let's disable show hand reference to simply have the mug visible. Cool. Now what we want to do is click and drag our static mesh that you want to use into our scene and let go Then scroll up and reset the location by clicking this little arrow that says reset to default next to location. Cool. So now we can simply move and rotate this object. If you hit space, you can change the gizmo. And let's see if we can line up the handle of our shield perfectly with the handle of our mug. Something like that. Cool, cool. I think that'll work. And now we basically want to change the origin or the pivot point of our mesh to that location. And since we already placed the object um, in the right location that we wanted, and you'll see this custom physics object is located at 0, 0, 0 as well. We can simply click to select only our mesh, then right click and select merge actors. And now we must make sure that pivot point at zero is checked. And what that'll do is it'll create a new mesh for us and it'll set the pivot point exactly on the zero, zero, zero point in our scene where our handle is now located. So with pivot point at zero checked, we can click merge actors. Now we can create a new static mesh. Let's call this SM shield new. And click save and now we can close this now we can delete this static mesh and now you'll see we have a new 
SM Shield New Static Mesh. And if you open that in our Static Mesh Viewer, you'll see the uh, pivot point is now nicely located on the handle and the orientation is already optimized for our object. So let's close that. Now we can click on our custom physics object again. And with our new shield mesh selected, we can assign that to the custom mesh. There we go. Now we can scroll down, click on show hand reference, and it should be fairly close to perfect already. Now we can always fine tune this as needed, but it should be fairly close, like I said. And now if we turn on left hand reference, you'll see this is the issue that some people are having. Uh, let's go into VR quickly so I can show you. So if I grab the shield now, it works nicely with this hand. But if I grab it with the other hand, you'll see it's not held correctly. Cool. So let's activate left hand reference again so that we can see what's going on. And then simply click on the first checkbox that says left hand rotate X180. And now it should be fixed. I've added these other checkboxes just in case your object is um, pointing the wrong direction when holding it with the other hand. Uh, you can always use one of these as well or a combination of the checkboxes to get the right offset for your object. But if you use the technique that I just showed you, you should just be able to click the uh, left hand rotate box. So let's click play again. And if we grab it now, see that's perfect grab it with the other hand and now that's perfect as well cool i hope this helps and i want to thank everyone for all the support and feedback you've given me i really appreciate it and i hope you have an awesome day